Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bake the Hate here at Hub32, where we bring you all the YouTube podcasters, web designers, writers that we can find and bring them here on this show to debate all the talk of its topics they love from entertainment, from TV, movies, video games, books, comics, you name it, they come on here and tell us all why it's the most amazing thing in the world and all those haters out there should shut the damn mouths and I take the side of all you haters for the fun of it and see if they can defend their beloved series. Uh, here with me today is Mr. Shodan Dan. How you doing, Dan? I'm pretty good, and I will defend it with as much honor as I can. Yes. Honor of a samurai. Always. Always. Thank you! Uh, Holy uh, shit! You got that! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Dan. So, uh, go ahead and tell everybody, what do you do? What is your, uh, what is your YouTube channel about? Okay, like you said, my name is Shodan. You can find me also at DWCreations85 on YouTube.com, where all the videos are awesome. On my channel, you're going to find a lot of tech stuff, a lot of things about iPhones, jailbreaking, iPhone tweaks, stuff like that. Anything kind of uh, of a review and some little bit of GoPro stuff. Some Anything I can really think of that you're going to be liking to watch. Yeah, for me. Oh, that was pretty funny for me. It was kind of funny to see that happen. Ride a car. Ride a car. Ride a car. Ride a car. Very good. Um, and again, one more time, where can they find you if they're looking to find you over at uh, like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or anything like that? You can also catch me, like I said, on Instagram. It's going to be at D underscore Hafrican. Also, that's going to be the same thing for Twitter. Uh, you can also put in for Twitter, GW Creations. That's you're going to find me no matter what. You will see this beautiful mug uh, in an, almost every single one of those profile pictures. Shining and beautiful as ever with all of your cosmetics on. He does makeup videos too on Twitter if you check him out. Yeah, that's, that's a side project. Side, pro <laughs> side project. You can fund him on GoPro. <laughs> um, Alrighty, Dan. So to start this out here, what are you debating today? We're going to debate why everyone needs a smartwatch of some sort. You're going to need a smartwatch. You always need a smartwatch. We, everyone needs a smartwatch. Uh, in particular, what is your favorite brand, so? I have two brands. Uh, they're for different sides of me. My favorite brand pr is probably going to be the Apple Watch. I am an Apple geek, and that's kind of what happens. But the other brand that's for the more techy side, more of a down and dirty tech, is going to be the Pebble Smartwatch. Okay. All right, so how this is going to work here, Dan, is I'm going to go ahead and give you a rough two minutes on the clock here. We'll let you get out uh, your starting argument. So everything you have to say um, about Pebble watches, Apple watches, smart watches in general. Get everything you want to say out now before I start tearing everything down around you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give you uh, two minutes here on the clock. Uh, if you don't need to hold two minutes, go ahead and let me know. After that two minutes is over, we'll go ahead and start the lightning round. Are you ready, Dan? Let's get it. Let's go. Alrighty, in three, two, one. Go. Okay, we're going to fortify this real quick. So, everyone needs a smartwatch. Everyone has a cell phone. Everyone needs a cell phone. We all want to be connected, but we always get bugged by having uh, notifications everywhere. You have new YouTube notifications. You have calls, text messages, emails. You always have something going on. And every time I go to work and I hear my phone buzz and I always check it, and what do you do? You get in trouble. When you're at school, what happens when you check your phone too much? You get in trouble. Sometimes you can get taken away. Parents yell at you. So, this is the greatest thing that could probably come to us is having smartwatches. Smartwatches, what they can do, you can go ahead, all of your notifications will be pushed to that smartwatch. It's going to buzz on your wrist. You can look at your wrist. No teacher can take away our watch because it's not against school code. It's not against most jobs that at least I know of. And they're just awesome things. You can play, depending on what type of watch you have, you can play on them. You can have little games. I remember on my Pebble watch, I had an awesome little game where I took control of a cat. I had a cat buddy. It was awesome. Okay? It was awesome. So... <laughs> What you're gonna want? Cat buddy smartwatch. Always, yeah. you always have a cat. Cats are cool. Cats are cool. They have. They both it's have like a Tamagotchi. Oh, that would be great. It was. It was a Tamagotchi version. So there's different types of smartwatches. Obviously, you're gonna have a super expensive one like this one for Apple. There's also ones for Samsung. I believe you have the Samsung Gear. You have the Moto 3 360, which is brand new. I think they have a 2015 one that just came out. They have uh, the Pebble smartwatch. They have the different versions of Pebble smartwatch. So you have all the different price tiers coming for you. You have all these different ones. You even have these 
ones that are very they're from fossil they have you have uh fitbits which are stupid first of all fitbits are ridiculously stupid you have all these I'm other with you on that one don't worry smart watches <laughs> and they do they are the next generation in phones right now they're in kind of i feel the beta state because they're just tethered to your phone but soon is it is the smaller version of your phone it is going to be on your watch you know it's on your wrist it's so small and can do all these things soon i feel like that's going to be your new phone with Apple Watches right now, I believe with the Moto 360s and Samsung Gear. It's the end of your two minutes. Oh, set. hater. I, I was fortified. I was fortified. <laughs> you got a lot into two minutes. You talked pretty fast, actually. It's very good. Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the lightning round. Are you feeling confident about this, Dan? I, I'm confident. I don't think you can bring me down. It sounds like you've done your research. This is going to be fun. We'll see if I got enough stuff to tear down your argument. Again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have a loose point system here at Debate the Hate. Really doesn't matter at all. It's just to destroy the self-esteem of Dan and all the rest of my guests here. So, if Dan does not have a good point to any of my lightning round topics here, I'm going to give myself a point. If he has an amazing topic, I'm going to give him a point. If he just has an okay topic and I feel like he's making shit up on the fly as if maybe I just threw all this stuff at him for the first time, which I did, I'm going to go ahead and deduct a point for the hell of it because this is a very biased show. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and start this five minutes on the clock. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight points on my lightning round list. If we can get through all of them, you get bonus points, sir. So, we'll see what you can do. Fill out these five minutes here for me. If I feel Dan is rumbling on, I don't like to hear the sound of his voice anymore, I will tell him to pass, and we'll move on to the next topic. He must not like his head. All right, Dan. My, my voice is angelic, okay? It's angelic. <laughs> Uh, you do have those Turtle Beach headphones on much better than mine right now. Alrighty, Dan. Are you ready? Let's go. In three, two, one, and go. First off, the black and white display of the original Pebble and Steel models is outdated and difficult to see in daylight. That's not true. It's actually easier to see in daylight, better than the smartwatch and the Moto 360s, the older versions, because there's no glare on it. That's why they're. What better. do you say about not having any of the color, though? You don't always need you the color. A, That's, you have a new smart watch, the, no the, color. The, the Pebble Steel and the Pebble Watch, the original ones, they're more for the techie. They're the down and dirty techie people. They're not for everybody. No smart, no swat, no smart watch or phone is for everybody. That's why there's so many different types. Okay, so this is a smart watch for who? Who is this for? If it's going to be a black and white, is it for old school people? Is it for your grandpa? You could have actually. My, my grandmother does. I did give my grandmother uh, the original smart pebble, the pebble smart watch for her for Christmas. I did give her one because it is waterproof. She's a very avid swimmer, but it's waterproof. For all of her it has polo a, classes. Yeah, I, dude, she Water she polo. runs that stuff. But it's it <laughs> it's for it has a large screen. You can read it perfectly fine, and there is okay. no glare on it. We're passing on this one. Moving on. I'll give you a point for that one. You're good go. on that one. Uh, price range on the Pebble smartwatches continues to rise from the original Pebble Time, uh, from the original up to the new Pebble Time, from original $80 to $199 with very little difference between the two, between the three of Pebble, Pebble Steel, and Pebble Time. What do you say to that? Well, technically now it's four because it came with the Pebble Round, but though you could tell it was this is a Kickstarter funded group you know they just blew up they're kind of like facebook they just blew up but you have the pebbles the pebble smartwatch the original one it was a kickstarter funded it was started out it's 80 dollars. that's cheaper and has more features than anything else that's also 80 dollars. everything else that's like around 80 dollars does not have a screen or have a big enough screen for a lot of people to use going up from there you have either up from there it just becomes aesthetics you know the pebble time and the pebble steel those are different those are just aesthetics you know, there's no other feature but it is aesthetics that you're charging extra money for so eighty dollars was a good price for the original one yes. still no touch screen can't interact with most of the uh, notifications um, even on pebble time it has really bad support uh, for the ios where you still can't interact with most of the notifications on there but that's um, that's not that's not their fault. That's Apple. That is Apple. Apple is notorious for keeping their system closed. They even didn't release the smartwatch app for the app for uh, excuse me for the Pebble Watch when they released their own Apple Watch. There was a huge blow up about it. Is there a reason why they would choose the Apple Watch over the Pebble Watch that they would close off their system? Besides, it's just their brand. Is there something that takes no, because, that Apple Watch over the Pebble? No, Watch? because as as a consumer, it's hard to say that because the Apple Watch is so expensive. I would personally tell you to get the Pebble smartwatch so you can 
feel your way through if you even want to have a smartwatch. I didn't wear a watch before getting the Pebble. And then I wanted I knew at that point I wanted to have a smartwatch. Apple is just an asshole. I like Apple. But products. you look at the time we look at the uh, price of the Pebble time and that's still two hundred dollars. Depending on what version you want, it can actually grow. Depending on I think which which um which wristband I think you want on it. Yeah. Um so you're getting a color display, but it's still no touchscreen. But it's still um, it's color, but with the Pebble apps. Time you have the color display and you have a whole new you uh user interface and whole new UI to it. It's completely different. And this, the Pebble smartwatch is for the techie blogger, uh, the down and dirty. I want to do everything with it. You know, you want, you're going to spend the time to deal with it. And that's the further up you want to go and not necessarily the features, but in the aesthetics, everything is aesthetics because it is a watch. It's a wearable. You want it to look good. Okay. We're going to go and move on. We'll give you a point for the iOS one. I'm deducting a point for the price one because oh. I am still not convinced that $200 for a Pebble Time watch when I can spend just as much on, a, on an Android one is good. But we're at the one minute mark. So I'm going on to the general watch questions. Um, most common one you hear is they don't do anything my smartphone can't do. And I already have my phone in my pocket. Why would I need another half ass phone on my wrist? Well, that is a very personal thing. Like I said before, it's like what you want to do if you, uh, whatever phone you want. We have smartphones like Apple, Samsung, Android phones, you know, the real high end ones that cost from 600 to $300, okay? But then you have the lower end phones, the Walmart phones. How about that? We'll put it that way. You have the Walmart phones. Everything can do everything anyway, but why would you spend more money on having these higher end phones? It's the same thing when it comes to having a smartwatch, okay? You have, you have your phone, you spend all this money on your phone, but then you go to school, you get it taken away. Because you're pulling your phone out too much. There are so many rules and barriers to entry to having your phone out and checking all those notifications. If you're busy people like we are, you know, I can't keep checking my phone. But I can check my watch anytime I want. I can check that anytime I want. There are no barriers to entry when having a watch. And if there's a smartwatch, there's, there's um, nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop you there. This buzzer doesn't like me. Phone. I don't like this buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sir. So that was the end of our five minutes here. Um, I'm going to throw out one after the clock question as I did on the previous episode. Uh, we'll give you give you a few seconds of unabated time before I cut you off again. Um, what do you say about the lifespan of Apple Watches and Google Watches and Pebble Watches as a, as a concept, as smart watches in general? What do you say about their lifespan in the history of technology do you think they're going to be a gimmick do you think people are going to move away from them as technology starts to develop higher and higher this is a completely new uh field of technology that we're kind of walking into so it's kind of hard to say whether or not they're going to stay or not i think it is but i feel like a lot of the people a lot of the the brands that are making them are pushing too hard and are not letting people kind of um wash over them you know they're not letting them uh, experience the watch. You're trying to put out the brand new thing right here, right now, like they are with phones. And now we have this over uh, saturation of phones. I feel like they're trying to do that with the watch. And I think that that if the, if anything, that's going to kill the smartwatch industry. But if I feel over saturation, like yeah, and because we have so many phones that do the same thing. And when it comes to smartwatch, like I said, I feel like Pebble is really the only one kind of being different because they're not doing the same thing. Their UI is different, you know. They're, they they are they are specifically a smartwatch for your phone. That's the only phone that's compatible between both sides of iOS and Android, at least that I can think of. You know, that has a screen can do all those regular at least most of the features on both uh, softwares. So is it going to die soon? Maybe, but that's only because the brands are trying too hard. Sounds like the same reason why the video game market crashed. Yeah, but in then the it came back. 80s. <laughs> because just yeah. the nostalgic. So maybe that's going to happen. Now, also, watches did the same thing. All you ever hear about is Rolex and all these nice watches by all these musicians. But I mean, like I said, I didn't wear a watch forever. I didn't. It's just, I thought they were weird and kind of useless. Like, why would I do that if I had my phone? But then I took the leap and made the experience with having my Pebble smartwatch. And I was like, okay, I like smartwatches. I, I work in a machine shop. And I get yelled at all day. They're like, why would you have a $400 watch on that you can hit on a machine? And it's like, well, I spent all day here at work. I am spent $400 on it. I'm going to fucking wear it. 
four hundred dollars on that so you spend as much as you'd spend on a brand new phone on a smartwatch yes that's only that and is hard because that is it, hard it is that is a hard sell is a hard sell but it's only because it's apple but this watch was a gift from a different youtube channel if you guys go ahead and check out my channel i have a video about that all right so wrapping that up go ahead and tell them where uh where all the youtubers out there can find uh, any viewers out there can find uh, the rest of your channel videos if you uh, reviewing various smartwatches, cell phones, and uh, jailbreak advice. Where can they find that? One more time, everybody. Go ahead. You guys can find me at, if you guys go ahead and go into YouTube, type in DW Creations 85 Under that name, I will be under as Show Dan. I am also Dan. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and now you can find me on Tumblr under those same things. On Instagram and tum on Twitter, excuse me. Uh, it will be under D underscore Hafrican. So you guys can find pretty much all those links except for Tumblr. I got to put that one on there uh, under my channel. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Alrighty. Um, and again, I'd love having you on today, but I'd like to have you on again soon. Maybe in a future episode where we get everyone on and debate about uh, various things that aren't $400 Apple products. Um, again, guys, this has been Debate the Hate. Here over at Hub32, another random Wednesday series. Uh, you can always still catch the Prime Show every other Friday, the series table every Monday, uh, and various other things on our random, random Wednesday special. Don't know why I can't say random today. All right, thank you very much, guys. And as usual, stick around for our outro video to find out how you can get on our show if you are a, another YouTuber, podcaster, uh, web designer, or writer. Go and stay tuned for that. Because it's Again, random! Because it's random. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, guys. See you again very soon. Thank you for joining us. And good night. Hey, guys. Appreciate you sticking around to the end card here on our second episode of Debate the Hate. We had a lot of fun with Shodan today, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to his channel. The link will be in the description below. Uh, if you're interested in coming on a future episode of Debate the Hate, it's real simple. All you got to do is go ahead and send us a tweet over at Hub32Show on Twitter, or you can go ahead and leave a link to your media, whatever it is, in the description below. Again, if you have a YouTube channel, you're a podcaster, you have a uh, website, maybe you're a freelance writer, any kind of entertainment that you may produce through the internet uh, that you think other people find really interesting and maybe there's a topic related to it that you want to debate about, just go and let us know. Again, make sure you leave a link and what you do exactly and we'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks again, guys. I will see you again next week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It'll be one of these two corners. Don't know exactly which way to point here. Uh, make sure you hit that. Make sure you like and subscribe um, and share this around with your friends. Again, we had a very nice time with Shogun today. Thank you again and you have a nice week.